in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you, my dear friends, and blessings be upon you. Springs of Carmel, sharing with you daily bread. Today is Sunday, 8th of January, and today we celebrate the Solemnity, the Epiphany of our Lord. We can reflect on this Feast of the Epiphany a bit later. Now it is our time to be with God. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make us to help us. All glory be to you, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O come, let us adore Him. O come, let us adore Him. O come, let us adore Him. Christ the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. After Jesus had been born at Bethlehem in Judea, during the reign of King Herod, some wise men came to Jerusalem from the east. Where is the infant king of the Jews? They asked. We saw his star that rose, and we have come here to do him a homage. When King Herod heard this, he was troubled, and so was the whole of Jerusalem. Herod called together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, and he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. At Bethlehem in Judea, they told him, for this is what the prophets wrote, and you Bethlehem in the land of Judah, you are by no means the least among the leaders of Judah, for out of you will come a leader who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men to see him privately. He asked them the exact date on which the star had appeared and sent them ahead on to Bethlehem. Go and find out all about this child, he said to them. And when you have found him, let me also know so that I too can go and do my homage. Having listened to what the king here had to say, they set out and there in front of them was a star they had seen rising. It went forward and altered on the place where the child was born. The sight of the star filled them with a great delight, and going into the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and falling to their knees, they did him homage. And then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. But they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod and return to their own country by a different way. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a feast of the Epiphany, a solemn feast. For me, somehow, it is a joyful feast. At the same time, it's also a sad day. It's a joyful feast. From the seminary time, we used to place three kings, three magis in the crib because it's the feast of the three magis, three kings. But at the same time, on the same day, we were asked to remove the crib, the beautiful crib. It took so long and we put so much effort and we asked to remove the crib. Even now, it's such a joyful feast. On this day, before the mass or during the mass, we place three statues of the three magis in the crib. It's a joyful moment. But at the same time, later, the, during the day, we will ask the people, those who prepared the crib, remove the crib. That is a sad part of the day, isn't it? Today is a joyful day. Solemnly we celebrate the epiphany of our Lord, manifestation of our Lord. The Lord revealed, the Lord revealed himself to three magis in the form of a star, a shining star. We still see Jesus as a baby Jesus in the manger. And from tomorrow, we don't see Jesus anymore as a baby Jesus. We see him as a grown-up Jesus. Tomorrow, Jesus is entered into River Jordan and is receiving his baptism. 
baptism of our Lord tomorrow. And day to tomorrow, we go back to the normal, ordinary time of our liturgical worship. So that is all about the liturgy of the day, the feast of the Epiphany. Now, what is Epiphany, my dear friends? How do you understand Epiphany? From many years, you heard many type of explanations about this Epiphany. Simple words. Just to summarize, the meaning of Epiphany is manifestation. God revealing Himself. God manifesting Himself. In the Bible, there are so many Epiphanies. In so many ways, God revealed. In so many ways, God manifested. To bring for you some of the manifestations, some of the epiphanies in the Bible we see, God revealed, God manifested through the simple shepherds, through the angels, message to the angels. That is a kind of manifestation, kind of epiphany. In the western churches, the feast of the epiphany celebrates Jesus' first manifestation to the Gentiles, represented in the form of Magi's. Whereas in the Eastern churches, the feast commemorates the baptism of our Lord. Baptism of our Lord as an epiphany. Yes, God manifested, God revealed Himself to us that Jesus is beloved Son. While Jesus was baptized in the river Jordan, there are so many ways God revealed, God manifested. While Jesus was baptizing, a dove, a Holy Spirit came and rested upon Him. The heavens opened, there was a voice. Voice from my heavenly father revealing, manifesting, this is my beloved son. Manifestation to the shepherds, manifestation to the three magis is a private revelation, is a private manifestation. Yesterday we saw Jesus manifested himself at the wedding feast in Cana in Galilee when he turned water into wine. He manifested, is a divine power. Later on we also see Jesus manifesting himself on the transfiguration to Peter, James and John, how he was a transfigured, how he was a transformed heavenly glory. That is all about a private manifestation. And what we see about tomorrow, the baptism of our Lord, is a public manifestation. Everybody on the river Jordan, people, those around him, witnessed, heard the manifestation of our Lord while Jesus was baptizing. This is another kind of epiphany tomorrow. Actually, we can talk about so many things on this feast of Epiphany, about the stars, about the Magi's seeking, finally end up in the presence of King Herod and his reaction, finally discovering the star and entering into the crib, going on their knees, these three Magi's paying a homage, the type of peculiar, different, unique type of gifts they offered, and after that, Magi is returning home in a different way, a warning in a dream, not to go back to Herod, not to go back to Herod, but go home in a different way. Lifestyle changes. Like this, there are so many details, there are so many topics. Every detail has a message for us. But let me leave you with the one message, message for this Epiphany Feast Day. And the message is this, beloved brothers and sisters, Keep looking for Jesus. Keep on seeking for Jesus. And He will reveal you. And He will manifest Himself to you and to me in so many ways. This is the only person, Jesus, the light of the world, the superstar, is the only person who can make our life meaningful. In every moment, in every situation, in every circumstances, keep on seeking Jesus. Keep on looking for Jesus. He will reveal to you His power, His presence and His peace and He will bring you to restoration. Remember this, my dear brothers and sisters, please remember this. An epiphany is a sudden understanding or illumination of something. For many of us, for most of us, epiphanies are spiritually inspired. I wish and I pray let there be many epiphanies coming on your way during this year 2023. I'm going to pray. Let the Lord reveal Himself, manifest Himself. Let the Lord be there and you discover His power and His presence around you. Blessings for the day. 
may almighty god bless you all my dear friends wherever you are and whatever you are going through and may the blessings of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit come upon you and remain with you now and always amen so i wish you all have a nice day my dear friends happy sunday love to you and your families yes god willing see you tomorrow bye for now love you always for the marriage